This brown fluid here is a so-called ferrofluid. It contains nanoparticles of iron and that gives it its specific properties within a magnetic field. You can see a magnetic field, that is a small neodymium magnet, underneath the petri dish now. And that is leading to these beautiful structures. The tiny particles of iron, which are immersed in this carrier fluid, will align to the magnetic field lines and make them visible. You can do the same stuff with, for example, iron dust, which is contained in a bottle. It is uh, conventionally used in schools, as it is much cheaper than a ferrofluid. But uh, I think a ferrofluid is even more beautiful with all these little spikes. If you take a closer look at it, you can see all these beautiful little spikes of the ferrofluid in the magnetic field. Ferrofluid is not just a beautiful substance to play around with, but it is used in electronic devices, for example, where you have to have a seal that is actually able to move along with whatever kind of movements there are present. One example would be loudspeakers, where you have a ferrofluid just around the center magnet. You know, the loudspeaker, the membrane moves as it produces the sound. And uh, there is ferrofluid used to create a seal in that part, for example. But now let's take an even closer look at the ferrofluid and how it behaves in the magnetic field. I really love those little spikes that are so smooth and shiny. It's really awesome. I was only able to record this because of this very awesome camera that was donated to me for my Chernobyl trip. But you can see that it comes in handy in other appliances as well. So The magnet I used is a simple small neodymium magnet. Not a very strong one. It's probably able to lift one kilogram or so. Not too much. Those things are very cheap. You can easily find that online. But you can also find a very strong neodymium magnets online. For example, it can carry 30 kilograms for just a couple of dollars or even much stronger ones that can carry a person. Like you could hook a hammer to that magnet and then uh, hang yourself on that hammer, even if it's on your ceiling or something like that. But those magnets are also very dangerous. I mean, you can imagine if two of those collide with your hands in between them, then uh, that's goodbye to your hand. So be very careful with those, but if you just have a magnet and can carry a few kilograms, it's still ugly if they smash together because they will break apart into many, many bits but uh, it's not really dangerous, and as I said, a weak magnet is sufficient to play with a ferrofluid or just uh, iron dust or something like that. Here you can see the magnet. It's uh, just a cube magnet. Very cheap, common, everyday neodymium magnet. You can just Google for that. So, so much for magnetic fields and ferrofluids. Thanks for watching.